So when we have a right angle triangle, we want to label uh, the three sides of the, the triangle in relation to a given angle. And in this first three triangle here, you'll notice we're given angle X here. It's the one that we're, we're taking our reference from. And the first side that we try and label is what's called the hypotenuse. And we'll have seen that before maybe uh, with Pythagoras' theorem. The hypotenuse is always the longest side opposite the right angle. So here's my longest side here, and it's opposite the right angle. So I'm going to label this hypotenuse, HYP. The next side we label is the opposite side, and again it's relation to angle X. So there's my angle X. The side that is opposite it is this one here. And so I label that side the opposite OPP. And finally, the adjacent side, so this is angle X, is the one that's beside it. So we label this side, funny enough, the adjacent. Now if we look at this right hand triangle here, this time the, the angle X is this little angle here. The hypotenuse is the one that is opposite the right angle. So this is my hypotenuse. And you'll notice it's also the longest side. When it comes to finding the opposite, I've got a choice of two. This is the side that's opposite. And this is the side that's beside my, my angle. It's adjacent to it. And I'll call this the adjacent. And this one the opposite and so I've been able to label all three sides of my right angle triangle. To help us find missing sides and angles in any right angle triangle we need to learn three ratios, three formulae which involve fractions and to do that we uh, learn a little mnemonic. Two old angels skipped over heaven carrying a harp. And the two old angels, the first three letters, the T, stands for the tan of angle X. And tan is just a, a special name for a, a ratio. And that ratio is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. The tan of angle X is opposite over adjacent. Skipped over heaven. The next ratio is what we call the sine ratio, so the sine of an angle X. And that's the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And the third one, carrying a harp, represents the ratio for what we call cosine. And cosine we just write as cos X, the cosine of angle X. And that ratio, that fraction, is the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Now if we look at the first letter of each of these little phrases, the tan of angle X, T, is opposite over adjacent. Two old angels. Tan is opposite over adjacent. When we looked at skipped over heaven, well, that stands for the sine of angle X is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And finally, carrying a harp. Well, the cosine of angle X is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And if we learn these three formulae, um, these three ratios, then it will help us whenever we go to find missing sides and angles. And sometimes this little rhyme, this mnemonic, two old angels skipped over heaven carrying a harp, can really help us to learn the three ratios. Okay, so here's some questions for you. I've got two triangles here, two right angle triangles. What I'd like you to do is label each side, um, either hypotenuse, opposite, or adjacent. Pause the video, try them out, and then restart the video again to see if you got your answers right.